All right, this is the Falcon Sports Report, and a lot is going on in the world of Falcon Sports. We'll start on the hardwood with men's basketball. The squad is back home tomorrow after a week off, but these last few days have been anything but quiet because senior guard Dylan Fry is back. The team announced Wednesday that the all-time three-point leader will be returning to the team after an 11-day hiatus due to personal reasons. He could not have come back at a better time. The Falcons would be the two-seed if the MAC tournament started today, but with Fry in the lineup, they have a real chance to take back the number one spot. The Falcons host Ohio tomorrow. Tip-off is at 4.30. And before the men play, you can catch the women's squad. The team is hosting Buffalo, and with three games left in their regular season, the Falcons are looking to finish strong. Tip-off is at 1. Shifting to the ice, the Falcons have their last home series of the regular season tonight. They host Ferris State, and this is a huge series for the Orange and Brown. They likely need to sweep this weekend and next in order to have a chance at home ice in the first round of the WCHA tournament. Ferris State is just looking to qualify for the tournament, so both teams with something to lose. You can watch them tonight and Saturday. Puck drop is at 7.07. The Falcons have been one of the best mid-major teams in college basketball all year. A big reason for their success is junior Daquan Plowden. He's one of the most improved players in the MAC, and his play has even been featured on SportsCenter a few times. The team has a player that's considered the best pure athlete, the one that can move quicker and jump higher than everyone else. For the Falcon men's basketball team, that's Daquan Plowden. The junior forward is having himself a breakout year. His scoring and rebounding averages have doubled from a year ago. He's also having a career high in minutes and three-point field goals. It's been a lot of work getting to this point. Um, I'm always receptive to learning more, always ready to learn more, and you know, just ready to learn. That's the biggest part. You got to, you want to be willing to learn in order to, you know, take in all the information that the coach is giving and the teammates. So it's like, you know, it wasn't like a just a myself thing. It was like everybody around me has helped me shape me into who I am today. Head coach Michael Huger is one of the people to shape Plowden, and he says it's more than just athleticism that has made Plowden a force on the court. Energy and effort. He brings energy, effort every single day. You don't have to worry about how hard he's going to play, how much effort he's going to give you night in, night out. He gives you the same thing every night, and then he's able to elevate that level. And nobody on the Falcon squad knows how to elevate better than Plowden. The high-flying junior has been featured on SportsCenter's top 10 plays not once, not twice, but three times in the last two seasons. Oh my God! It's, it's great acknowledgement, but it's just like winning plays, just plays that happen in game that are just like sometimes even unexpected. And then like it's just I don't know. It's just like it's crazy. It's a crazy feeling like to know that you're on like Sports Center and stuff. But like it's winning plays too. So it's fun. It's fun to see, and I'm I'm in a maze. Have to I see it in practice, but when you see it in a game, it's another level. Everyone sees it now, and they see what he can do athletically. And, uh, he brings it every every single time, and when you see those highlights, it's kind of like, ooh, that's really nice. Chase Bachman reporting for BG Falcon Media. And finally, the Ohio Special Olympic Winter Games are this weekend, today through Sunday. The event is bringing over 1,000 athletes from around Ohio in events like basketball, swimming, and cheerleading. You can catch the action at Perry Fieldhouse, the Student Rec Center, and the Stroh Center. For more information, you can contact BGSU Conference and Event Services. The event is free and open to the public. And that is it for sports.